like to welcome now a couple of fellows that have been around the business. We've got John Roberts, who's the executive director, and Terry Kramer, a contractor, and they represent the International Grooving and Grinding Association. Welcome, fellas. Thanks. Nice to well, see nice you. Well, nice to see you and nice to Thank have you aboard. Thank you. You know, I bet a lot of people out there don't realize that you're facing a big anniversary this year. We are. We're celebrating our 40 years in business as a uh, construction trade association. It's amazing. Tell yes. us a little bit about what, what got things going and, and where your market is and who, who you represent. Certainly. The IDGA uh, was formed back in 1972 by a small group of contractors who then wanted to improve the, the characteristics of the highway system. And the IDGA was formed at that time to serve their interests in terms of providing a platform for them to exchange ideas sure. and to further promote the industry. In 1995, our association affiliated with an outfit called the American Concrete Pavement Association, and we developed a pavement preservation arm, which is now termed the Concrete Pavement Preservation Partnership, otherwise CP3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Essentially, our goal is to take care of any kind of pavement-related maintenance uh, technique that need be done. Well, obviously, there have been some tremendous changes along the way, and Terry, maybe you can talk to us about some of that as being a contractor and, and representing the association. What, what are some of the newest techniques that are going into it today? Well, basically, a lot of what we're doing today is really what they were doing many years ago. It's just the advancement in the equipment and the tightening of the specifications that's really driven our industry the last 15 years or so. Um, so what we're able to put out there is a much better finished product than what we've ever been able to put out in the past. Are we talking of improvements in, in grinding wheels and cutting and, and that sort of thing? It's actually improvements in the equipment itself as well as the cutting wheels. Wow. Um, together they've both come a long ways in the last 10 to 15 years. And what do you, what do you guys see as the future? What, what's happening? long term, I know we've got a lot of infrastructure problems in this country, so basically your people are never going to be out of work when it comes to roads and, and, and that sort of situation where you become involved. I agree. You hit 100% on the money. The United States can't afford to rebuild the entire network of roads that we Absolutely. have. Absolutely. We're going to be forced to repair and maintain what we have. And furthermore, if you look at recent history, the past five years, the asphalt prices have begun really increasingly volatile, while concrete prices have remained rather steady. So again, it removes some of the risk from the highway departments and owners by investing in concrete and maintaining with concrete. So there's no other place we'd rather be. We think we're in a very good marketplace. Uh, Terry, uh, you've been an association uh, co a technical committee advisory individual for previous years. And, and what are some of the key issues that you talk to your uh, cohorts about? Well, we, we deal with any issue that's technically related to our industry that comes along. Um, primarily, the last few years, we've been dealing with the slurry issue. Slurry is a byproduct of the sure. diamond grinding Absolutely. process. Absolutely. And uh, we've addressed that issue in many states, uh, particularly in my home state, where we actually had laws written about what we could or couldn't do with that slurry, which helped us be more competitive in our business. What's the uh, MAP 21, that new DOT highway bill, how would that impact like an association such as yours? Quite favorably. The uh, MAP 21 highway authorization essentially has earmarked, while they say they're not earmarking, they have dedicated a large sum of money for nothing but pavement preservation. So again, there's a big chunk of money that'll be flowing into this industry for the next two years until the bill expires. It's amazing, isn't it? A lot of people don't understand it, how the industry works, and it's all kind of intertwined. Very much so. Okay, Very I want to thank so. both of you fellas for stopping by. Thank you for your time. First day. I hope you enjoy the show, and you have a booth here? You, you bet. We well, sure tell do. The, tell the folks where you're at. Will do. We're at C4227.